Hey everybody, Jason Fairchild with Guarantee RV. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Today we're gonna to go over a really cool Coachman Catalina. It is a 343BHT SLE, that's what I thought. Um, quite, quite a mouthful there. So we're gonna start off on the interior, and we'll finish off on the exterior. Follow me inside. Okay, so if you're looking for a trailer with two beds, not necessarily a bunkhouse, but two actual beds, two bedrooms. Uh, maybe you're having an in-law or an adult, another adult live with you. This is the right trailer. It's very unique. We don't have anything else like this. So I'm, instead of starting out in the front bedroom, we're gonna go to the back bedroom. Come and check this out. I love a bedroom in the back. A lot of that reason is because if you're staying in a park, it's usually a lot quieter and more private in the back of the RV as opposed to the front where everybody's driving past. So you've got a ton of storage in this. You've got an area for a TV, a dresser here, more storage here for hanging, and here even. Um, you do have storage below the bed as well and above the bed. So this is one bedroom. Before we go to the front, let's take a quick peek. Here's your bathroom. Pretty basic, you've got your sink, medicine cabinet, and toilet, and shower. I wanna skip over this and go to the other bedroom real quick. So, this has actually got two bedrooms in the trailer. I think it's really cool. We don't have anything else like this. Uh, I wish there were more RVs out there like this. So you got a full walk around queen in here, storage above, a dresser in here, a place to put a TV. Huge, huge closet. You can actually get to from the outside. There's your bay door there. And you could, it's actually plumb for a washer and dryer. So if you want a washer and dryer, this trailer can have that. Got a wardrobe across the front here with hanging and shelves for things like shoes. Um, lots of power, little nightstands, just an awesome trailer. And then in here in the middle of the trailer, we've got a nice L-shaped kitchen here. Nice double sink, high faucet. Oop. Lots of storage and counter space, three burner stove. Nice oven. We've gone to the Furion. And these new Norcold handles are great. If you haven't checked them out yet, you need to because they're a lot better than the old ones. Still have that deep well up front or up top in the freezer. Across from the fridge, we've got a booth dinette, little couch here, and then we've got a TV and an electric fireplace with lots of, lots of storage here in the front. Um, quite a cool, unique trailer. There's a little more storage there next to the dinette I didn't point out as well. So let's go over the outside features real quick. Follow me. So one of the components this trailer has that people are commenting on that if they haven't seen these yet, um, when they do, they, they seem to love them and it's the steps. They're so solid, so stable, um, just great. Everybody has really, really loved them and they're easy to use. You just fold them back in. That's it, close the door. Nothing hard at all. Uh, we've got a large electric awning on this trailer, covers a large portion of the trailer. That's probably a 20 foot awning. Outside speakers. Here in the back, we've got a full size bumper, full size spare tire, pre-wired up top there for a backup camera. So we've got two large slides over here, and in between them is where a lot of the hookups are. So right here, in between these two slides, which is kind of nice, it's out of the weather, protected a little bit, you've got your dump, gray and black dump valves down here, hot and cold shower, there's actually a, a place to put your shower, or your faucet here, um, and hold it for you. You could actually shower here if you wanted to. Your 30 amp power cord is going to connect right here. This is your black tank flush. So as we move around to the front of the trailer, you can see there's actually a third slide hiding up here. This is the bed slide in the front bedroom. 
And here you've got, pardon me, a cable satellite connection and your potable water uh, fill. So if you're gonna do dry camping, that's where you'll add your water in. Let's take a look at the storage here. You can see the bigger cord here. This is a 50 amp cord. That's because it has a washer and dryer hookup in it. Has the larger propane tanks, which guarantee does fill the propane tanks. Anything that has a slide, we provide two 12 volt interstate batteries in a box. Um, this also has the electric tongue jack. So this trailer is ready to go camping. Anybody that needs an extra bedroom, this is it. Please don't hesitate to give me a call. My name is Jason Fairchild. You can reach me directly at 541-228-6057 with any of your questions or concerns. I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.